today I watched another, yeah, I don't know why I do this to myself, but, I mean, I, I was generally in a uh, mood for comedy, but somehow all the comedy I'm getting is kind of poor quality, I guess one could say, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's not predictable, I, I've, I've, I've seen, I mean, I've seen some good comedy movies in my life, I'm just not getting good comedy movies. I, I mean, sure, some people, I guess, go on with what the average rating is. But not really, I, I, I couldn't care less about that, as it happens though. I mean, you know, in, in the past, in the past I've, I've certainly seen stuff that had... I've seen stuff that I thought was good that had a low average rating. As it happens though with this one, it does have a low average rating and it is on average not too good. Insipid at best, I think, one could say. There's only just uh, some. I suppose one could say original factor, but not really, ultimately. So yeah, um, it is unoriginally called First Daughter, and uh, it's as unoriginal as the name. I mean, they didn't even do much in terms of, I don't know, honestly, what they thought would do, like, you know, they, they must have thought, yeah, if we get her in uh, situations where, you know, like a flat party or whatever they are, you will have it automatically funny, you know, if it goes down some sort of wet slide. I mean, what's funny about it? And the, and, and, and the worst, the worst as well, is that boogie joke twice. Like, seriously? I didn't even get it the first time, but it is such a weak joke. I mean, I can see the logic, but it is seriously some sweet stuff and disgusting as well. I mean, what's the point of that? What's the point of having a weak joke that doubles for disgust? I mean, anyway, and the fact that they said it twice, so, wow. Honestly, I, I, I don't think, I mean, uh, I, 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 I thought I knew what weak rom-coms are like, but no, nope. this gives a whole new definition to weak rom-coms. I've been seeing so many weak movies lately, that's unbelievable. Um, I mean, this trailer, I might as well just watch a, uh, just a you know political drama. It is not. What was the point of this? It's it's it was so weak. Like yeah. And he told that he's an actual science. Really. Um. And apparently, uh, I don't know. Just nothing that there was though. Was funny. Just I don't know if they if one made this thought. This, this was funny, that, you know, just lying to her about what he did, about you know, just like that. And that's, not, that's surely not inherently funny, is it? But neither is going down a slide or dancing on a table. What's funny about that? She just did it, that's it. That's not funny. And then there was an argument with her roommate. That's not inherently funny either, as far as I know. Some movies are just not not funny, right? I cannot believe it can even be classified as a comedy, but it can barely be classified as a romance as well, I mean, sure enough, they they try, they have the tropes, at least they do, as opposed to comedy, so in the sense, it's better on that front, but it, it barely is, really. I mean, you know, it's just, it's whatever, really, it's, it's a lot of Cliches interwoven together, that's pretty much it. That's, that's all it is about. 
And I feel like I'm wasting my time even commenting on it because it's, it's, it's really not much else, you know, it's just, that's it, that's all it is. Uh, it's, it's kind of tiring, I mean, I, I think I should just watch a straight drama next time, it's at least a bit more... Uh, it has more substance, I mean, this is really contentless stuff, right? Like, you know, it almost touches something to potential but no nope, doesn't just backs off every single time just backs off that's it afraid of anything to potential and then they add an narrator just for the heck of it huh great narrator well that's that saves the movie uh yeah anyway that's pretty much it and it's uh insipid i think sums it up huh.